Hi guys, it's Brandon. Doing a quick test of a whole bunch of things on my 55 gallon tank for my boy turtle Gamera. Just checking the quality of all my levels and everything. Um, the pH has been kind of high and I think it's from my tap water and the river rocks that I have in there. Sorry about the background noise, it's the dishwasher. Kind of loud. Any hoozle. So I've been trying to get the pH much better now. I um, did the high range and it's under the high range so that's good. So it was sitting pretty high here like 7, 6, 7, 8 range. But now we're getting down to the normal areas. So we are oh right in between here somewhere at about a, about a 7 I would say. So it's getting better just kind of taking a couple days to get it where I need it. Um, the African side neck, he needs, oh, I think I read that he needs six to six two. So we need to go all the way, all the way down on this one. So it's gonna take a little while. Every time I um, change the pH in the tank a little bit, I give it quite a while before I add another dose because doing it too fast, I don't want to affect the turtle's health at all. But as fish, they're very, very more, they're much more temperamental and need like 24 hours. But turtles, it can be a quicker change, but I still give it a little while. Um, I have a timer going for these two tests. So the first two are uh, freshwater pH, freshwater pH, mid-range, high range. And these ones, this one here is the ammonia test. And the second one here is a nitrate test. So that's going to be their solid waste mixed into. So basically urine and poop are these tests. Um, you add these two solutions, five drops, five drops. I mixed it in there and I'm waiting five minutes. Here real soon my phone should tell me that we are done waiting. And we can gauge kind of where the levels are and so far I mean so far we are nothing for ammonia and we are nothing for nitrate which is very good so the only thing in this tank that is off so far is the pH and I think that's why Gamera has a little bit of shell rot developing and it's kind of worrying us, me and the wife a bit, and we're trying to get it under control, it's just kind of tough. Um, this kit we actually got from my wife's brother who gave us that 55 gallon tank. He had a whole bunch of cichlids in it and it was a it was a good tank but he was just kind of over it and wanted to downgrade some some of his stuff so he gave us the tank this whole kit and it's a really really good kit I'm not really sure where he got it but it it comes with everything you need the only test I haven't done today is the general hardness test and that measures the hardness of your water but I don't really think I need to yep that was the timer going off so we are basically done for these two tests and they are totally good i mean the urine content if it was higher it'd be green so it's kind of backwards for the color scale but it just kind of works out for the chemicals so the chemicals made it yellow it wasn't urine so so that means the nitrate levels are extremely low near zero parts per million and the ammonias or I'm sorry, the nitrates are very, very low too. So that is exactly what we want on that tank. Do 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 do. Those are my feet. Do 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 do. There we are. So this tank is in good shape. I just still need to lower the pH. Um, what I have been doing also is, if you see up under that rock right there. There is a one of those larger media bags that goes in a filter, but I have it up there right now because I haven't got into my filter to put it in. But it is full of, it's full of this stuff. This moss naturally helps lower the pH 
of a tank when it's in the fil filtration system. I guess the moss, um, the plant just kind of, um, I'm not really sure what it does. It lowers the pH. That's what I know. So it is slowly getting there. So the water is very clean. Where is my guy? There you are. What's going on, buddy? Always hanging out, just out of focus range. I see how you are. Hey, buddy. He's just hanging out, happy as can be. Uh, you can see on his shell there, a couple white spots. We put a silver paste, a basically a medicine in his couple cracks that he has to try to help him out. Um, but what we've read is this paste doesn't do amazingly well or there's no proven benefit so we we're kind of bummed by that so we're trying to keep him healthy but it's kind of tough huh buddy but he's still eating and basking most of the day he's a very very happy turtle what are you doing in there you being a goober he just pops himself in there so he doesn't have to swim because sometimes he's lazy you're just lazy But as you can see, everything is still staying very clean in here. I think he finally ate his final minnow, so I need to get him some more. Uh, this is my tank that I have connected to the Fluval G3. And right now I have an alert because the conductivity is out of range. So that means the um, it measures the electroconductivity of the water and I have it set to a range that's a little bit lower but I'm not really sure what the range that I need for this for the African side neck should be so I'm still trying to get that kind of nailed down but everything else on here is fine you can see the temperature on the top 76.7 oh, come on so it gives you the last eight days of temperature 48 days of conductivity range so you can see this is a full water change here then it climbed back up that was a half a water change now it's slowly climbing again here's the water flow so it'll show you how the pump is performing over 48 days that's pretty cool and then you got your general settings I'm going to do a video today on opening this filter up and showing you exactly what's inside of it It'll be kind of cool. Oh, reflections outside windows. So yeah, um, if you guys have any uh, input on how to lower my pH kind of naturally, I don't want to, I guess I could start adding some of the additives for the pH down, but I kind of want to do it naturally, uh, more safe for a turtle environment, but I guess either way we'll do it. So if you guys have any comments on how you've done it for your turtle tanks or fish tanks, I would really like to know.